Welcome back, everybody, to Alone in the Dark. We are still on the cemetery in pursuit of Jeremy Hardwood. Uh, we just escaped this pursuit down here, which was absolutely terrifying. We obtained those plates that I think need to go on this door there for the crypt. And that's the chapel, I think they called it. And that's pretty much everything that I know. So let's go. Oh, yeah, it's still stuttering. Okay, do I have to put them in a specific order? Or... Okay, they pretty much do it themselves. Um... Oh, this should be fine. Unless I put the wrong ones. Can I... Oof, can I take them out again? Um... Mm-hmm, this makes more sense. And this one... And the hand needs to go up there. Oh god. There you go. <laughs> I thought it ought to put them. Who's this? Please don't touch her. Jeremy. Is it? What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you? My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with someone. The dark oh. man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken in Dissetto won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Oof. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let it take you! What the heck is it? Jesus, Jeremy! Ow! Uh, that must have hurt. The 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 dead lady came with us. She's in the bed behind us. Um. My everything clue. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. 
the way to find me again? Perhaps in Terroya? Oh, my love. Jeremy. Luggage key. Jeremy Hardwood. Unlock Jeremy's streamer trunk. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. She's just sleeping. Yes, yes. Um. Perusi's body looked unharmed. Conby couldn't figure out how she died, or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. Okay. I really like the way she's talking. Okay, the steamer trunk. I do not remember where that was. Why was the camera like this? Oh god, the cockroaches are back. Dang it, I don't remember the steamer trunk. <laughs> Maybe if I go into the... Maybe in his room. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? I think it's over there, right? I hope I'm right here. I haven't played for two days, so... Wait, is it already here? Yeah, it should be. So, did he have a steamer trunk in here? Yeah, he did, actually. Okay. Luggage key. Barlow lens. Oh, now we can- Ah, sweet. A lens that can be fixed to amateur telescopes to increase magnification. Awesome. A telescope lens? Why would he lock that up? Because it's a clue or like a piece of a puzzle. Jeremy had found a way to enter Terrawea, but he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons, and she died suddenly one day without warning. Just poof. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Comby suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what he would find, he felt eager to put the lens to use. Oh yeah, if you're eager, eager, right? There's this one room with a telescope, um, the drawing room. So I need to go down again. So we have to go back through the mezzanine, okay. And through this door, I think, so we have to go round, round. No, through here? Was it through here? <laughs> Why is he doing like this? It's like, I'm expecting to be jump scared any second now when he's... When they're zooming into the camera like that. Uh, zoom into the... Into the view like that. Right floor, okay. <sighs> this is really making me angry. Through here and then through the library, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty certain the stuttering is because it's loading when you get into a new area and then it then then it causes problems. I think this was the library, right? Yeah. Yeah, you see. <laughs> I think through here to get to the telescope. 
There's something. There's just. You can't go this way for some reason. There's something in the way that. <laughs> okay. Invisible blocks. What do you want me to do? Is not is that not what I gotta do? It's definitely zooming on this one. Aha. Uh -huh. these puzzles. I like those. It's just, do I know the paint, the, the picture that I need to finish here? Can I rotate them as well? No. Okay, cool. Nine four one. Let me write that down. Oh, he's doing it himself. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own, and it's showing the way to another memory. Where is that? Just writing it down. Oh, flashbang again. Oof, 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 oof. Oh dear. <laughs> Puzzles. <laughs> Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Terrawea? Hmm. Maybe it was. What's with this bloody radio, man? <laughs> I want to turn it off or maybe tune it so that it stays on the on the proper frequency. Do you have to stand in a very specific position for it to do it? It's so weird. Okay, we need to go back to the dining room, right? So weird. Which was, I think, through here, somewhere. And then through here, I think. Yeah, this one. This is what they showed you, right? Now, what do we do here? Here we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I found what I got. Did I just hear toad? Oh god, please no. Please don't do this to me, game. Please don't. Anything. Anything. But please no big toads. Chapter 3. No, chapter five? Didn't look. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge. And this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? 
I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Taroeya. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. <laughs> there okay. is another thing you should know about the library. Oh, do tell. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. Oh dear. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Look for answers inside the Great Library of Tarawea. Okay, and he just chill in there. Wait, let's let's um, talk as much as we can. You have any advice on how to deal with the Dark Man? Mm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. Just slash ignore. Gotcha. Okay. I know you said Jeremy's never been here. But does this place exist in real life? I think it's supposed to be Mexico. But I am not certain of that away as origin. His hair goes brrr. Well, good to meet you, Juan. I'm going in. May the gods be with you, Edward de Vilban. Okay. All right. I wonder how complex the story was in the original game. If all this that we have here now was also in the original game. Or if lots and lots of it was at to for this release now. Okay, let me just look around in every corner. Maybe there's some ammunition that I need or a door I could open or something like that. But it looks like it's pretty empty. Okay, hey, this is the way to go, I assume. Yeah. Wait, how do I turn my light on? There you go. Ooh. Oh, starter. Yeah, I'm walking a lot to prevent those stutters. <laughs> What happened in here? The dark man happened, I guess. Oh, dear. Oh, what? What is this? Okay, I thought maybe some vines are just sprouting out of nowhere. Can I jump over or do I have to jump down? Looks like we're gonna go down, guys. Let's go. Ugh. Oof. 
the impact of his fall. Oh, I feel like I'm back in the cemetery now. I mean... <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Alright. <gasps> this looks nice and bright and inviting, right? Oh. Oh. Raiding tombs again. Can I go in this? Oh, wet feet. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. It's re not really a one to one remake, I think. Yeah. I don't think. Okay, it's a statue. I was like, oh shit, who, who are you? Freak me out a little bit just there. <laughs> Pedestal. What am I gonna put on you, eh? There's something missing. Classic. Okay, we gotta find the missing piece. There's lots of these statues. I hope they won't come to life. I mean, they're kind of freaking me out, poking around the corner like that. Hello! <laughs> okay, now the question is, are we gonna find the missing piece in this room? It is a pretty big room. Oh god, I don't like these sounds. Oh dear. I'm just expecting some boulders to fall on my head and crush me to death. Ooh. The Great Library Clue. The Great Library was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar. An evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the prowler. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of the character. Its key will be left to the library. To the librarian. So we have to find the librarian? So I guess one of the statues. Maybe? Hmm. <laughs> oh no, not the librarian. <laughs> yeah, he swallowed a few syllables in there, right? Oh. Somebody sprayed some ketchup! I'm just gonna check every floor and then make my way up until I hopefully find the missing piece. Were you toasting somebody? Skull. Can I get that book? Hmm. Hmm. There's another one of these, but this one is kind of grown over. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go to the stairs. Oh, weren't there stairs? Oh, here. Oops. <laughs> Ran too far. There you go. Hello? God. I hope nothing will fall on my head. I already do. 
Wait, do I have a melee weapon? Uh, okay, I have a melee weapon. I have my trusty shovel with me again. <laughs> Just running around with a shovel. Oh, I love this. This one is standing out. With a light right next to it. Aha! Gotcha. Give me that. The key of Hubertus. Thank you. No. Oh. died. I don't know what else to do. Crap. What do you do? What happened? Where am I? Okay, he's here. Just the key is still in there, right? Or not? Did he did he use it to unlock this ladder and now I have to go to the pedestal and put it in again? I think so. But I'm not sure. Okay, so you you need to get out of there. I need to go over there. I was looking at this, but I thought I need to find another key first. <laughs>
is quite low, I just see. Did I get everything? God, this is louder. Did I do it? Oh god, that was way too loud. Unnecessarily loud. And yeah, I don't know if you heard me in all this loudness. <laughs> And all the noise, but um, I, you know, I'm just so used to games where you get a key item and it's one time use only, especially after playing Tomb Raider. You get a key or something and it's, you use it once and it's gone, although it's like massive metal or something. Anyways, um, I just expected I have to find a second key to put in the second pedestal and he was too close for me. So I was like, okay, okay, I'm going to run around and look for the second key. <laughs> I didn't realize that I had it in my inventory still so well glad we sorted that out i'm sorry for everybody's ears <laughs> okay what next we have these really weird skull sculptings again here Ugh. Wondering if this is censored based on region because you absolutely shoot yourself in the head if you fire at him. Really? That is pretty cool. Sound like we're in the middle of a hurricane. I'm sorry, guys. I have headphones on as well. So for me, it was like brrr, somebody was vibrating my, my brain. On a very high and strong frequency. <laughs> okay, I'm just looking everywhere in case there's anything, you know. This was lowered, exactly. So I'd probably go in there and... You hear that? I don't like this. Why are there tippy-tap noises? Somebody following me? Oh god. <laughs> no likey. What's this? Oh, is it a throwable or is it can I drink it? Oh, it's hell, thank you. <laughs> I just had two left. I wish he could jump over there. I mean, come on. You could step over there. But he's like, nope. You shall not pass. Here's something. Ooh. So what's that now? A lift? Ooh, ooh, ooh. With a little mini balcony. Ah. <sighs> It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. I was reading that! <laughs> <laughs> Detective! What? What? What is happening here? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no going back. <laughs> So close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Garmy, think. Think. The shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, Detective. Oh, almost so close. Ooh. <laughs> the horny lady again, guys. <laughs> well, thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. So humble. I suppose we weren't <laughs> formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. 
Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Mm -hmm. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Obviously. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. Was it a compliment for for us? I heard <laughs> you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder if he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. Okay. I saw it in a dream once. Dink! What? I love the music so much. You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Good luck. Thanks, hey, love. Have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. All right. Okay, now we're going in there. I see, I see. Look for the... Oh, 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 matchbox. Oh, I got everything here. The Crescent City. I'm trying to find all the... All the things. I have a few complete sets now. A Great Depression. Almost done with Beast of Burden. Done with Lost Children. And done with Crescent City. But yeah, the game already told us in the beginning that if you want to complete all of this, you have to do multiple playthroughs. Definitely at least both characters. Cannot uh, cannot trust Prex's people with red dress. Company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. All right. There is a house in New Orleans. A corner. Hi, I forgot about you. <laughs> I forgot about these fellas. <laughs> oh shucks. Um. Okay. Oh, I thought he's gonna come out of this side. I don't know. I was so into the puzzling and stuff in. I completely forgot about the creepy monsters. Okay, come here, trusty brick. Really? Really, Liz? Really? <laughs> okay. Oh, hello! But when you throw them directly at them, they're actually working like a Molotov cocktail? Sweet! A little bit of tea bagging never hurt anybody. <laughs> oh, it's one of these. Okay, you want a shovel to your- Do you want to fight or no? Hello, I'm here. Okay, wait, I have to take the stairs. I cannot bend my knee that far. Oh, oh it's actually- It's actually an oar. Could you die? Thanks. Very sweet of you. <laughs> the way he burst out of this door, ran out, and then turned right back to just stand still in this room. That was interesting. Very interesting. Yes, yes. I wish you could store those throwables. Are you stuck? Are you stuck in the barrel? 
Hello. Oh, I kind of unstuck him a little bit. Oh, healing, healing. Please let this be healing. Yes, nice. Pretty certain I have to go into the building to progress, so I'm just running around and looking for things. Ooh. Oh, yes, yeah, sledgehammer! Screw the ore! Sledgehammer for the win! Hell yeah! It's giving me Dead Island 2 vibes again. That was fun. Gory as hell, but fun. Oh, maybe I have to go this way. Hmm, I'm not sure. I want to go everywhere. Dang it. Maybe I have to break this. No way I can get this out of the way with my bare hands. But if I get that crane going, that should do it. Okay. We have an objective. Move the crane. What's here? <sighs> Typewriter ribbon. Ooh, oh god, this is so Resident Evil! The ink ribbons to to save your game and you had limited saves in resident evil in the early games or if you play on harder difficulties in the modern ones as well okay so now that i know that i have to activate the crane and go into the sewer i can actually go into the house or not because the door is locked <laughs> Okay, there was another building though, right? Apart from this one? Hmm. I don't know if I will be able to come out of here again. Oh, no, 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 I'm not done yet. Am I? I'm so sorry guys, but there was another building, I think. Maybe it's the same building. Where the guy ran into, the, the monster. I just want to quickly have a look in case I missed something. Just in case. Here. Anything? Anything? Black Pharaoh. Temple of Mysteries. Miracles, dark magic and wonders. New Orleans Pelicans. Baseball. Game? Is that a G? August 7th and 9th. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Can I bing bong the- way inside. Yeah, okay, good. Now that I know. Just making sure, you know. The massive fear of missing out strikes again. Do a lock where we have a sledgehammer. It should be a we should be able to open it, right? Ugh. Okay, game saved. Oh, there's a little save. Ooh. Massive typewriter. Oh, key? 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 Steve Doors key. Steve Doors key. Okay. Now maybe we can go to the crane. Oh, shit. Oh, but the way he lunged at me! Jesus Christ! The way he just like f f slowly waddled my way and then suddenly <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Is that a healing? No. Shucks. Okay, this way. I was hoping for another healing. Slow and steady. This is bright as hell. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 loot box, loot box. <gasps> yes, ammunition, thanks. Hey, I, I don't have too much, but I do have some shotgun shells as well, so we kinda am okay-ish. Okay. 
Oh, do I operate it myself? No. Uh huh. Okay. All finished. But I also heard a monster. Oh, or t or, t or three. Sure. Yeah. Why not? I mean, come on, take it. Nice. Oh, you came my way all of a sudden. Idiots. Okay, I'm just gonna try that again. Oh, you can actually hurt them with this? I thought it's just a distraction. Not the smartest one, eh? Oh, there's another one! Oh shit. Run, run! Could you run? No, he cannot run. Okay, gotcha. Oh dear. Reload. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. It's the maggot man. Ew. The, not the bloody maggot man. <laughs> Please no more. Please no more. Okay, please tell me that I will be able to get some resources back. I wasted a lot. Although... Okay, never mind. I'm just going in now. Rats, you okay? Hmm. They were just waiting for their... for their moment. Sewer level, guys. Nothing ever good came out of sewer levels, ever. The most disgusting vermin monsters is always in the sewers. Always. I will not like this level. <laughs> Don't make me go in there. Please, no. Uh, yikes. Ew. Disgusting. Now, do I go in this direction or do I go through here? And what is progress? Ugh, oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna look in this direction first. If I can. Actually, cannot. Okay, never mind. Problem solved. <sighs> this going on a suicide mission. <laughs> you. <laughs> Good pun, though. Yeah, bullets. Keep, 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 keep. Wait, was that shotgun? Ooh. He's totally coming to life, isn't he? I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Ugh, of course. They wobble their heads so much, that's why I always shoot for the go for the chest when I'm shooting them. Of course. Disgusting sewer spiders, of course. Of course! I love how every game does it the exact same way. There's a new enemy, and they just make it, like, crawl by, you know? <laughs> you, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, everybody, but I'm gonna protect you, okay? I'm gonna take the hits for you. Nobody has to endure the spiders. Although it looked like it has four legs, so technically it's not a spider then. But maybe it was just fast. Maybe I should take this Molotov cocktail with me. Oh, it was not a Molotov cocktail. Never mind. Damn. 
Damn, those bricks are actually quite powerful, right? They equal one hit with a bullet. This is pretty impressive. Okay, it's just a broken barrel. Never mind. Oh dear, I'm so on edge. <laughs> is it a ladder? Yeah. Looks like we're getting out again. Or not. What's this way? Nothing. Okay, we're fine. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Oh, there's something in there though, but is it healing? Yes! Sweet. Okay, we have all the healing slots filled right now. This is good. Oh, we in the warehouse? I think. Oh god. Oh god, guys. They way they just fill you up with stuff. <laughs> oh god. This this is not good. Let's save. Let us save. Um There's totally going to be a boss fight or something. All right. Inside the warehouse. So many. The office must be upstairs. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fight that one spider. Or is it gonna be a whole horde of them? Man, there's so much ammunition here. This is. Oh, can I? Can I take that one? Can I take that one? That's a big bonk hammer. I want to take that one. Guys, I don't want to go up. Can we stay down here? There's more loot in that corner. Another brick or something. A trumpet. What? What? Severed horn. Okay. I was expecting, I don't know, loot? <laughs> As in ammunition, healing, cool new weapon. But okay. I'm not picky. I'm taking everything. <laughs> okay, I guess there's no way around it, guys. We have to go upstairs. Wait, is everything reloaded? Yes, we're good. Okay. Oh. What's this? A fire poker. Yeah, I'm taking it. Better than a pipe, I guess. Can I attack with this crane thing? I don't want to drop down here, but I guess I'll have to. Okay, this room looks safe-ish. And there's loot. Guys, I think I see a new gun. Hell yeah. Knock, knock. Tommy Gun, oh, yeah. Tommy Gun, Tommy Gun. All his things. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the papers safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell. He's back again. I hope this will make sense later. What is left, later is right, and hell is back again. Okay. Machine gun cartridge. Ooh. 
<laughs> rat, 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 rat. Looking forward to that, baby. Is is okay. Uh, I don't think I can solve this yet. Maybe or can I? Are there any clues? Mississippi River. Mississippi in the middle of a dry spell. <sighs> could I? Could I open the safe now or? Hmm. R&B, Lasting Death, The Commonplace Book, Talisman, Great Library, All His Things. What is left later is right and hell is back again. Hmm, no. I don't know if I should be able to do this right now, but I, I don't know. I'm mentally preparing to be jumped. But I have a tummy gun now. Maybe this is the only thing that I can do right now. Are you gonna don't 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 hurt <coughs> yourself. Hmm. Why are you saving game? Oh, wait, do I have to go back to the sewers? No. What? No. The way your face lit up seeing the Tommy gun. I always love a new new gun. Wasn't the words highlighted or something? Yeah, they were. They were. They were highlighted. Wait, could I? Oh no, never mind. It's just a bottle. Huh. And the pipe. I assume that this... All his things. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were... Carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by the ones who live in the deep. All items have been signed and delivered. Now best keep the paper safe. What is left, later is right, and hell is back again. So, what later in hell, basically, I guess, are the, the numbers, right? And then left in this direction for the coat, and then right, and then back left. So this is pretty much, I'm pretty certain this is worth a save, but what is what later in hell is standing for? What numbers are they standing for? Is it just the amount, amount of letters? Then it would be 454? Four, four? Or am I supposed to know? Figure out what the words are standing for. Hmm. I mean, we can try it. Four left. I can't activate it. I can't do anything. Oh, this way. Okay, never mind. I can't do something. Okay, um. Hmm. That's not it. So then I really don't know. It's 12. Oh, do you think I should need to go to four? No, 
No, I don't get it. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a clue. The numbers, the the I need numbers, but I have words. I need I need an equivalent for the words. Mississippi River. What later hell? That's the words that I have. What later hell? And the, they, they weren't in the text that I got. I would like to have this. <laughs> Can I take this as a weapon as well? anything maybe I'm overthinking this but usually saves you need three numbers right I have three words and I have the directions left right left I've I've tried to go, I tried two different versions. I tried going left until I got to the number four and I tried going left four digits. You know, I tried both versions that are that I could think of. So I went one, two, three, four, but I also went all the way to the four. So I tried both different versions. That's everything that I could come up with. Of course I did, four, five, four, so I, you know, I don't want to, like, just do it again now, because it didn't work, both of them. We have, we have these words, and they have four, five, and four digits. Uh, letters. It's not four digits, it's, it's, uh, it's not four numbers. So... I don't think the upper text is that important. The important thing is the one that is highlighted. White, what, later, and hell. These are important. Does somebody maybe know? And can give me like a hint? Like... You're, you're missing a page that gives you more information or you have to look around to find another object or something like that. What for, later five, and hell for? And then I tried two different versions. I went, the version number one was going four digits and the other version was going to the number four, then going around to the number five, you know? I mean, I can try again. Hang on, shit. <laughs> Four, five, four. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think what I did, I was I was being stupid and sleepy. I did, I went all the way back to five and then to four again, and it was just one slot. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we got it. Manifest on September nineteenth, eighteen ninety-two. Black Shipping Company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Okay. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man.
Sleepy brain. I didn't get much sleep the past few days. <laughs> Let's blame it on that. Okay, um, I was still in my puzzle when I was reading this. Cargo Manifest. The Black Pharaoh, Gallatin Street 13. So how do I get there now? Can I just go th back through the sewers or did the is the door open now? What is this? Oh shit. Ew. Run, 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 run. Yeah. I'm all out of bullets. Uh, okay, shotgun time. Oh, or you just die. That works with me. <laughs> Let's take a sip first. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Tommy gun is pretty, pretty strong. Mmm, crispy. <laughs> okay, do we go back in here or do we go through the door that they came through? Ah, yeah, they opened this. Okay, cool. Ugh. Mmm, fog. I like fog. Looks cool. Flop house. Looks like the fog cleared up. Eh? What? Are you are you blind? <laughs> How did the eh? <laughs> or does he just mean the fog that l limited his area? Okay, never mind. Okay. I was a bit concerned for him there. Looks like the fog is clear. Everything is foggy as fuck. <laughs> but this, it moved a bit, so now I can't go this way, right? Oh, I'm all out of Tommy Gun action stuff now. Now is that the house I have to go to, or...? Tommy Gun... Hey! <laughs> gun Tommy! Witness the Black Pharaoh. And machine gun! Yes! Let's go! I like the um, that you get so much of it, but the recoil is pretty nasty. So you aim down, but as you shoot, he, like, shoots up. I've got a lot of that stuff now. My god. Actually, good that I came into this little back alley here. <laughs> okay. Guess this is the way to go. Oh, barging in like that. The address you are looking for is just down the street. Okay, we got it. I don't want to accidentally waste my Tommy gun ammo, so I'm gonna just take out the revolver. Creepy masks are creepy. Oh, this is quite high. What is this tower? There's no doors. <laughs> this building is weird. Finally, okay. Just checking out the clothing. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. 
I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. <laughs> so you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are. We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No, we can't. We would turn on loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. Which steps? What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. <laughs> Jeremy just doesn't want to be saved and... Edward Carmi's like, I'm gonna save you! <sighs> if you want it or not... <laughs> just you wait. Okay, what's this? Okay. Let me write that down, because that resembles numbers again, doesn't it? For the lens thing, or like the medallion or what it is. Um, uh, and... Uh, okay. Oh yeah, gotta put it there. Okay. So, hang on, I gotta check my, is it this one? Oh, which, which one had the numbers? This one? Yes, all right, so that would be eight. And that would be five. And this would be two. So two, five, eight, I think. From the outer ring. Hang on, I'm confused. Uh, which one is the one where I put it? <laughs> if you know what I mean. The arrow there. Five. Hang on. Chair, Pharaoh, another one. Or is it the same thing? Something changed in here? Oh! Yo, this is trippy! Okay, this is trippy. <laughs> The way that looked is trippy. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Are we really going to the desert now? Is that a portal? Yeah, kind of is. Do, 
total eclipse of the heart. Oh god, the sand is gonna be there forever. We really are in a desert. What the heck? Okay, this game is all sorts of trippy. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to see if there's a photo mode. <laughs> yeah, just follow the blood or whatever this is. Ugh. Please no quicksand, please no quicksand, please no quicksand, please no quicksand. Sunken desert temple. I better get down there. What in the Tomb Raider is this place? Wait, am I supposed to go in there? Because this is also intriguing. I don't know if this is extra. Maybe I need this. Rope. Uh-huh. Yeah, key item. So I had to go, go back because I couldn't go down there, I guess. Beyond the Nile Valley. The temple of Nephron lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun, a message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumed to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Open shafts channeling the light, several streams pool together above the statue of the dark man, Black Sun. Okay, I have a feeling there's going to be some kind of mirror light puzzle thing. Machine gun, sweet. Okay, I guess we go down, down, down in the desert. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like this way, you idiot. You are not normal bats, what the heck are you? What the frick frack was that? Oh god. Do I have to Oh yeah, there you go. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Ay. Don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Slow. Ooh. Very Indiana Jones. Oh, what what happened? Was it just moved? Use the old temple mechanisms to reveal the something. It's the star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. That one star's clearly bigger. Must be important. I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hit. Contract. But how do I get to it?
What? Empty loot boxes? Oh, this should be illegal. Yeah, empty loot boxes are just horrible. You get all excited, you push the button, and then... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Another one? Oof. Rude. That's just rude. What do you do? Hello? Hello? I don't wanna... No. Go away. Leave me alone. Don't make me shoot them. Oh god. Yo. They look like mini gargoyles. Now, if I would run into that, would it burn me? Would it instantly kill me? Canopic jar? Canopic jar? I don't know. What, what in the Cthulhu? Did you see the top of it? It was a tentacle. In a desert. Okay. Holy Cthulhu. Okay, I think... Um... All of the lights need to be in there above the pharaoh? Or do they have to hit his crown thing? Hmm. How do I move the things? Do I shoot them? Okay. I guess this is the only way we can go, so let's go. Oh god. How many loot boxes do I have to open for nothing to be inside? It's just nasty. <laughs> it's such a debate, isn't it? You're like, oh, but here, now, there's gotta be something inside, and then, no. <laughs> nope. No. Lens carrier. There's something missing. We need to find lenses. Okay. The horizon. A lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph. Um. Now, can I turn this around? This one looks operational. I wanna- I wanna know what happens if I light it- oh, 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 oh shit! Oh god, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, it stopped there. Phew! Lucky me. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, everything's gonna burn now. <laughs> this is fine, this is fine. It's gonna be fine. Come back upstairs. Like all the way up? Maybe we go to the balcony now. That'd be nice. Uh huh, yeah. I think we're on this balcony level now. On this, on the first floor. Let me just look around. Oh, when I mean you can go even higher. Oh god, no. Not the gargoyle monsters. Oh, of course. I want to I want to save my ammo. I don't want to waste it on little monsters like that. God, I have to find so many <laughs> Yeet. I have to find so many lenses now. God. Okay. Mm. 
seems like a very big area and I I already lost my orientation and where I've been and I haven't been already a lot. It's gonna be interesting. Oh. There's a lens here. But it looks like I'm gonna save. I gotta get here at last, it seems. Can go this way and this is down. Alright, what's in here? Do you have a lens for me? Children of a Dark Sun. Oh, pickaxe, yes! Okay, bye, fire poker. It was nice with you. I hate empty, empty loot boxes too. It's just so nasty. You get all excited and like, yes, now I'm gonna get some stuff. And then, disappointment. What do we want to bet? <laughs> Nothing. Yay. Okay, this one I can operate. Burn the curtains. Can I burn you? Oh. Dang it, I wanted to burn them. <laughs> Can't go higher than this, so maybe this is it. said over his head, right? I'm gonna just vaguely aim it at this. Use the dark light to open up the door. Yeah. I'm trying. Need to find all the thingies first. I haven't... Okay, I came around now in a circle, so I haven't been here at all. Another empty box. Yes. <laughs> wow. Why put them there if I cannot open and take anything? Oh, oh, oh can I throw that at you? <laughs> nice. I like mm. that. Okay, we need a lens. Hmm. Come on, here. I'm, I'm gonna kill you! Where's the other one? Did I did I get the other one as well? Okay. Maybe I have to shine... Maybe I have to go over there and shine a light on this to open this door? Let me try that. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna try around. At least the chests aren't mimics. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Do not jinx it. I shall never recover if that is gonna be the case. Okay, this one. Looks like I could just hit it, depending on how far this thing can go. Burn, burn, burn! It worked. Ah, okay, I thought it was... okay. Okay! I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Now can I go around there and can go through this? Yeah! Nice. So now we can go through here. What's going on with the curtains? <laughs> what is- oh boy. Hello? Oh. Oh, the music! Man, this is a bit creepy. I love it. Oh, oh. Yay! Empty loot box thingy! Nice! <laughs> so... Ah! 
Lever, yes. I cannot really see that much. Do I have to put it on here? That was apparently what I had to do. The star. Okay. Well, I thought I could take maybe this lens. Okay, the star, the star, the star. What am I gonna do with the star now? Stars! <laughs> Empty little mini box again. Atze. What the heck is that? It looks it looks heavy and like it could really make some damage, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Given that there's loads of treasure left lying about, the empty boxes are a bit mean, right? Was I really supposed to do that? <laughs> or did I just break it right now? Okay, um... The star. Here, over there. This is where I need to go next. So we go back up again. Up, I said. How do, how do I get up? Which one was the way up? One of them was the way up, no? Maybe I had to go down first to go up. Or just go back the way that I came. If it lets me, that is. Here. Up this way, and this should be the star one. Huh. Noise. I was honestly not looking forward to fighting these little malakas, so I'm very happy that they just ended themselves with a laser just now. <laughs> um, through here. And then through here. And this way. Ah! Ow! Can I lure you into the laser? Are you gonna hurt yourself? No. Okay. Oh, shucks. Okay, hitting. Hitting with the pickaxe thingy. No, at, at zoo. Is this the way that I opened? I barely hit it, but okay, I'll take it. Now, do we go up or down first? Up. Up first. You can always go down. Oh, I think I just opened a shortcut there. Okay. Maybe I don't need this one anymore. Maybe I can open something else now with this? Huh. Mm, yeah, I'll take it. I already used a few hits with the other one. At a boy. <laughs> Why am I even trying anymore? No, in there. It opens something over here. Was there something else I could pick up? 
Ah, okay. It's just a throw my bobs. <laughs> down, down, down by the river. Okay. Just getting a real good look at everything. I don't like the abyss that I see there, though. <laughs> Another lens? The underworld. Ooh. Haven't seen those movies in forever. Was it Kate Beckinsale? As Selena? In very tight outfits. <laughs> okay, the underworld. Where am I gonna put you? Was it this? This one. So I probably have to go up here to put it in. Right? have this one so it doesn't make sense that much but I can probably run around there I like that it auto saves regularly so I don't have to bother too much about that mm. oh this one is already open uh eh Eh. Kind of lowered further, and it doesn't make really sense, so... Is that what I was supposed to do, yeah? Okay. Up here, and now we grab the lens from the pharaoh's head. That's just an ancient and versatile cutting tool, similar to an axe. Looks like it could be used for many purposes. Not just a weapon, but also, yeah, like you said, a tool. Ooh, I think this is it. Or not! <laughs> Oof. Maybe now I have to all point them to the head? Maybe? The disappointment is real. But it did this very promising sound effect, you know? So maybe now I can point them all to the to the crown, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Okay. Yep. We get in there. So now we go up there and then point the last one, and then we should be good. It's interesting that the doors are staying open even though um you are not pointing the laser anymore. Oh, we did it. Sweet. That was a neat puzzle. I like those direct light in certain angles kind of puzzles. So, can I now take this thing? Oh, wait. Did I take a wrong turn? Did I take a wrong turn? No, this way. It's a bit of a maze in here. No, this way. We hurry, we hurry, we hurry. Oh, we hurry. Shit, we hurry. Oh, maybe. Oh, God. Wait, okay, maybe we go the other way. Yeah, I got it. You stop staring at it. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Come on. Run. I gotta get out of here. Screw the little malakas. We're just running. Oh. Was it? Oh, okay, not this way. Got it. I understand. I understand. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, oh, that was funny. The squish. Oh, hello. Out of mouth. Wait, you bloody. Oh, he's dodging. 
dodging. He's dodging. Okay, screw you, mate. Oh, okay, not this way. Would you die? Thank you. Wait, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, this way? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ready to collapse. Yeah, yeah, I'm running, I'm running. I'm sorry, I'm getting lost here. Cool. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, he dead. Reload, 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 reload. Follow the blood, follow the blood. Very promising, yes, yes. Up and down and up and down and up and down. At the end, Carmby is gonna be very thick. Let's look at this little box, which is so not fitting into the environment right now, but okay. At first I thought it's a first aid box. Ooh. Where did he put that? <laughs> Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. <gasps> the contract. We found it. Huh? 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 Oh no, not more of these. Ew. Ew. Ah. Ew. Ah. What? Ah. What? Ah. No, what? Ew. Chapter 4. <laughs> and back. Oh man, this looks like hey. very uncomfortable. Hey, detective? <gasps> Wait, is it Jody? Um, uh, Emily? Emily, this is Emily! <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, I found some. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. <laughs> I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I worry, detective. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not good. much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. <laughs> My man just lying on the ground, you know, and appears to be, looks from the outside, looks totally drunk. <laughs> Not remembering where he is or that he's wearing a massive medallion around his neck. <laughs> or talisman. Oh God, that must be a weird impression for her. The dark man's contract. Okay, looks a bit moldy. Oh wait, I have three pages. Dang it, I just saw that in the last second. Sorry, guys. Uh, acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self-deceit, temper, manic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet doing so would be the doom of Dersetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, O oh crawling chaos. Build your prisoner around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Evil has been starved. Sacrificial dagger and demands. Okay. Break into the Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. 
think this is a good moment for me to take a break and then we will continue after that. I don't know how many chapters this game actually has. So we're now in chapter four. Maybe there's just four, maybe there's five, I don't know. But I think we're getting closer and closer. We already have the contract now. Now we need to break it. We'll see. I read that the game is anything between five and ten hours. I also wonder if there's a different different events if you play as Emily Hardwood instead of as Mr. Carnby. If there's more, I would really like to see the other perspective and then play as her. Also, the game in the beginning said that if you want to discover everything, you have to play as both characters to solve everything and find everything. But now I'm going to take a short break, guys, and we will continue once I get back.